Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for April 26th, 2024 from the Braddock Bay Hawk Watch. Our Bird of Prey Days Festival is kicking off tonight and will continue on Saturday and Sunday. Stay tuned till the end of the video and I'll go over the schedule for tomorrow. Kim and I started out the morning at Beatty Point and it was a very frosty morning with temperatures below freezing and the highlight of the morning was my first of season warbling vireos. And we also saw this black bird with a light eye. This is a rusty black bird. And we also had a nice flock of cedar wax wings up in a tree. After that, we walked the church trail where I heard my first of season Virginia rail. And after that, we headed over to the Braddock Bay West Spit where it was pretty quiet overall and a bit chilly with the easterly winds. But we had really nice looks at this juvenile bald eagle. And this bird's a little unusual looking because it's got some extra white between the eye and the bill, so I'm not sure what that is exactly. After that, I headed over to the Hawk Watch where it was a beautiful sunny day, although it was chilly with those winds. The wind shifted from an east-southeast to a fairly strong east-northeast, so not a very favorable wind, but we held onto a flight line and it was slow and steady all day. Here we have a large two-toned bird holding its wings up into a shallow V, and we see a small reddish head. This is a turkey vulture. Here we have a hawk with a long tail and long wings with a rounded tip. We see that the bird is overall more compact looking with a very squared off tip of the tail and a small head. This is a sharp-shinned hawk. Here we have a large lanky raptor with a black and white plumage hunting over water. This is an osprey. The bird on the right looks like a flying cross. This is the local Cooper's hawk coming up to chase a turkey vulture, one of its favorite hobbies. Here we have a large butio. We see a dark belly band and dark patagial bars here in the shoulder area. This is a red-tailed hawk. And we see no dark trailing edge to the wings and no red tail, so we know that this is a juvenile red-tailed hawk. Here is a very vocal plover that plopped down on the path in front of the hawk watch platform. We see a double breast band. This is a kill deer. Throughout the day, we had some small to medium sized groups of migrating turkey vultures, and a lot of them were off to the lakeside. Here we have a group of turkey vultures up over the east spit, and we had around 150 vultures for the day. Here we have a hawk angled away from us. We see a long tail, and from this angle, the wings look more pointed, but it's just because of the angle. When it was more side on, we could see those rounded wingtips. This is an excipiter. And we see streaking that's concentrated more on the upper breast. This is a juvenile Cooper's hawk. Today I had a total of 55 species at the Hawk Watch. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrant raptor totals, today we had 153 turkey vultures, two bald eagles, one northern harrier, 14 sharp shinned hawks, one Cooper's hawk, five red tailed hawks, and for falcons we had four kestrels and one peregrine for a total of 181 migrating raptors. That brings the April total to 38,890 and the season total to 47,010. And taking a look at the forecast, for tomorrow it's looking cloudy with occasional rain in the afternoon and a high in the upper 50s and winds south at 10 to 20 miles per hour. So that's a pretty good wind. Of course, southwest is our best wind, but a southerly wind is perfectly fine as well. And my only concern would be that as that rain moves in in the afternoon, the clouds could be pretty thick gloomy day with rain showers so that may hold back the raptor flight a little bit but hopefully in the morning with those southerly winds maybe the clouds won't be as thick and we'll end up with a bit of a flight and even if there's not enough lift for things like broad wings hopefully we'll still see things like sharp shinned hawks and kestrels migrating through low so it's a little hard to predict just because it's uncertain how gloomy and rainy it's actually going to end up being but southerly winds during the peak migration time for a lot of raptor species and there should be a lot of songbirds on the move as well. So we'll cross our fingers and hope for a good day for bird of prey days. For Sunday, it's looking cloudy with a slight chance of a rain shower and a high up in the low 70s. So we went from below freezing this morning and on Sunday, we're getting pretty warm. Winds west-southwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. That's a fantastic wind for us. I would expect Sunday to be a pretty good day and possibly even a really big day. And then for Monday, we're looking at mostly cloudy skies with a high in the mid 50s and east northeast winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour. So back to a less favorable wind would only expect light to moderate migration. And Bird of Prey Days 2024 is kicking off this evening and then continuing on Saturday and Sunday. 
You can come out and meet some live raptors, and there will be many activities for the whole family. And of course, you can come out and visit the Hawk Watch. There's a suggested donation of $5 for adults, and it's held at Braddock Bay Park. Here's the address, 199 East Manitou Road in Greece. If we take a look at the activities for Saturday at 11 a.m., we have Introduction to Wildscaping, Pollinator, and Wildlife Gardening. At noon, it's Into the Woods, a bird's survival guide to living in the forest. At 12.30, there's Hawk Watch Bingo. And then the Western New York Raptor and Wildlife Care will present programs at 1. And then you'll be able to do a live meet and greet from 2 to 3 with the raptors. And then at 3 p.m., Capillaria and Sharp Shinned Hawks, Current Trends and Research Directions. And of course, you can visit the Hawk Watch, and the hours listed here are 11 to 3. That's when there's going to be some additional helpers and interpreters available, but I'll be out at the Hawk Watch all day as usual. All right, I'm really excited for Bird of Prey Days. I think there will be a good crowd, and we certainly have nice southerly winds and warmer temperatures, and hopefully we'll get a really good hawk flight for everyone. I hope to see you out soon at the Braddock Bay Hawk Watch. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.